Mwese Zigidion, a 23-year-old youth, is among the 23 Ugandans rescued from Myanmar in May this year after he spent $8 million on chasing a $1,200 monthly rewarding job, which is about 4.4 million shillings in Thailand. I've been tortured uh, and I was forced to work in, in scamming companies. Three months after his return, Mwesezi is still struggling with nothing to show except the phone he stole from his bosses in Myanmar, where he was rescued without pay for six months. Almost six months of labor without payment. Uh, this is the only thing that I was able to come back with. It's the phone that I stole from these people, and I use it to communicate to the ambassador of Uganda in Malaysia, BTV Gombe, and it's the reason why we are rescued from Burma. He is now bothered by reports of more than 15 Ugandans who have been trafficked to Myanmar as confirmed by Uganda's ambassador to Malaysia and Thailand, Dr. Betty Vigombe. Yes, I've got the same information that another 15 Ugandans have been trafficked Myanmar. In a phone interview, Bigombe expressed disappointment in Ugandans who continue to fall prey for Felistas' jobs abroad despite testimonies from their colleagues. I'm terribly disappointed and very frustrated because we are not, as a country, doing enough to carry out our advocacy or awareness, if you will. The young people get to know that these are fictitious jobs. They are not real. It is actually modern-day slavery that is going on. Mwesezi now wants the government to tighten on the movement of people at the airport. By the government to make adverts about kind of scams, uh, to let you it's known people in Uganda that they are scammers, people that promise false jobs. And uh, I think immigration should also uh, make more research about people who go abroad especially when they get visas from embassies that are not here in Uganda. Because imagine I got my visa from Kenya, yet we don't have an embassy of Thailand here. More than 100 Ugandans are said to be stuck in Myanmar under Chinese and Taiwan employers.